you want your games to have the beautiful style and look of the hit title Breath of the Wild? Well, you're in luck. I'll be showing you how to go from this to this. We start by opening the shading tab. If you don't have use node selected, then do so now. Then delete the principal BSDF node. If you don't, it can cause issues later in the process. Now all we'll have is a material output node. Add a mix RGB node, a color ramp node, and a shader to RGB node, and a defuse BSDF. Link all of them together and you'll get this. Well, I guess there's still a bit of work to do. Go to the color ramp and change linear to constant, and mess around with the slider. It should give you this first part of the cell shader effect. Then you'll want to go to the mix RGB node and change it from mix to multiply. You can also use it to tint the color of the object you are cell shading. You can also use the color ramp to color the objects or darken the shadows of the object. Now adding the in-between shades. This is optional, but it does add a bit more depth. Duplicate the diffuse BSDF, shader to RGB, and the color ramp. Then add another mix RGB node and set the mix RGB node to add. Go to the color ramp node and change the dark shade to a solid black. Then mess with the light color till it blends in between the light and the dark. Now, when you move the light around your scene, the cell shading moves with it. For the rest of the character model, just Ctrl C, go to the next object, and Ctrl V. Delete the principal BSDF and connect the nodes and change the colors to whatever you want. And that's all there is to it. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting my channel. Check out this video next to see more of the Blender game engine.